Remove circled screws to remove board kit from the chassis. With the plugs and screws removed, the board will lift up from the kit. To remove the active filter module, we'll remove these two screws. With a dry cloth, wipe down any excess heatsink paste or burn marks on the chassis. Remove the orange wires for the positor. Remove one black and one white wire on W8 and W9 on the power supply board. Remove all screws that hold down both boards. With all screws removed, the board should pop out now. To avoid electrical shock, always ground yourself or use a static electric gloves. Place the main control board back into the casing. Screw down the board back to the casing. Reconnect the orange wires for the positor. Place the power supply board back on the casing. Screw the board back down to the kit. Put the wires back on W8 and W9 of the power supply board. Reconnect all Molex plugs. All plugs are color and size specific. Apply heatsink paste to the bridge rectifier and dial bridge. When placing the kit back into the chassis, the wires must be run in the proper channels. It's important to remember not to pinch the wires when placing the kit back into the chassis. Screw down the kit back to the casing. Remember to put the heatsink pad down before installing the active filter module. Apply the heatsink paste to the active filter module before installation. All active filter modules contain two screws to hold it down to the chassis. Wires must be run in their proper slots to ensure board and kit sit flush. Reconnect wires from the power supply board to the terminal block. Refer to condenser board kit replacement videos for continued wiring help.